Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is take five of me recording this lesson. So, what is it that they say? Fifth time's the charm. Hopefully, we we get it. Um, but we are in our last unit, unit five, physics. Um, most of you guys did a really good job on our um, genetics, a celebration of knowledge. Um, it was open note. Uh, you had the internet, so hopefully you did well. Um, I cannot say that for everybody, but most people did really, really well. So that was really great. Proud of you guys. Um, you need your science notebook today. Um, if you're in my class, I did attach the divider. If you do have a printer, if you don't, you can make your own and cut it out out of the sheet of paper, or you can just decorate the page. Um, so if you need to pause the video to go back and do your divider, you can, or you can leave it blank and come back to it. Um, but we're going to start taking pages or taking notes on the next page. Um, you're going to be writing what is in red. This lesson is on the metric system and converting between um, different units. Um, hopefully it's a review. It's all stuff that you have learned before. So let's jump right in. Um, this is a screenshot I took from the YouTube video that I put right here, but this is what we're going through today. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Um, so kilo, hecto, deca, which this is from a different country. We spell it D-E-C-A. Um, deci, centi, and milli with the base being in the middle, meter, liter, or gram. Some people have heard this as King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Um, that's because they put a U for unit instead of a B for base, however you want to remember it. Um, our first thing is we're going to pause here and write this in our notebook um, just so that we have it to refer back to. And as a reminder, what you would do is when you are looking at this chart, if I told you, like, let's say you had one meter, you would put your finger here on meter. If I said, can you please turn that into um, how many kilograms are in that one, or I'm sorry, how many kilometers is in that one meter, then you would count um, all the way to kilos. So one, two, three, you would move the decimal place over that many times in that same direction. Um, so how many kilograms are, or how many kilometers are in one meter? It would be 0 0.001 kilograms, kilometers. Oh, this is why I had to do this so many times. Copy it down. We're going to do examples. Don't worry. I messed up my notebook now too. What a day it has been. Okay, hopefully you have paused, copied it down. Okay, so let's just start um, with the first um, base, which is the meter. The base unit of length um, is the meter and is represented by a lowercase m. Um, so just a couple of things um, for you to look at. The metric units, a kilometer, is equal to a thousand meters, one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters, one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. That's just moving the decimal place over back and forth. Um, so using your chart, I want you to have your chart with you. You can use your finger and just move back and forth. What is larger? A, one meter or 105 centimeters? Hopefully you thought 105 centimeters. B, four kilometers or 4,400 meters? 4,400 meters, good. C, 12 centimeters or 102 millimeters? 12 centimeters. D, 1,200 millimeters or one meter? 1,200 millimeters, good. Okay, before we get off of this slide, make sure you have what's written in red. Okay. So now some example um, questions for you or a uh, real world problem for you. So how many millimeters are in a centimeter? I have a ruler for you so you can see um, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So this is the other side of a ruler. If we weren't using the inches side, we'd be using the centimeter side, which is the metric system. And so uh, in between the zero and the one, there 
are 10 little spaces. Um, there are 10 lines between the zero and the one, including the zero and the one. Um, so you know you could just count over all of the spaces. So what is the length of the blue line in centimeters? So the blue line that I have for you underneath the problem. Yes, hopefully you got 2.8 centimeters. Good, you would count to the two and then there are eight little lines after that, so 2.8 centimeters. What is the length of the blue line in millimeters? Hopefully you did get 28 millimeters, good. Okay, um, what is the length of the line to the nearest centimeter? It's a little math, you have to round. Three, three centimeters, or what is the blue line closer to? Two or three, three. Okay, next one. Um, mass refers to the amount of matter in an object. The base unit of mass is the kilogram and is represented by a lowercase kg. So one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. One gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. Again, just using the conversion chart. So what is larger? A, one kilogram or 1,500 grams? 1,500 grams, good. B, 1,200 milligrams or one gram? 1,200 milligrams, good. C, 12 milligrams or 12 kilograms? Hopefully that one's easy. 12 kilograms, good. And then D, four kilograms or 4,500 grams. 4,500 grams, good job. Okay, if we were in class, we would be practicing measuring mass using what's called a triple beam balance. So what you do is you take the object and you put it on the silver plate, and then you move the weights to see how heavy the object is. So you would put, um, the object on first and then you would move the white balance beams. So in this picture you can see that if I have an object already on the scale and I've already moved the balance beams then what I would do is add them together to get the total weight of the object. Um, so I want you to take a look at this and add together the three numbers that I got in this picture to get the total amount of grams of the object that I put on here. Okay, hopefully you've done it. So you would add together the 70 plus the 300 plus the, I know it's hard to see, but 3.3, .3, and you would end up getting 373.3 grams. Okay, last thing, talking about volume. Volume, the amount of space an ob object takes up. Um, again, we just talked about this with math with um, volume of 3D figures, so this is the same thing. Um, the base unit of volume is the liter, represented by a capital L, um, or a lowercase l, but we normally think about a capital L. So one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed, um, or one gram. So you can kind of see in the picture just kind of how we relate between liters and um, centimeters uh, and how they measure the volume of a 3D figure. Um, and then let's do our which is larger. Do you have your chart? Look in your notes. Okay, A, one liter or 1,500 milliliters? 1,500 milliliters, good. B, 200 milliliters or 1.2 liters? 1.2 liters, great. C, 12 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the same as 12 milliliters. Or 1.2 milliliters. 12 centimeters cubed. I kind of helped you with that one. Okay, so when we're measuring volume, um, what we normally use and what we would have used in class is a graduated cylinder. 
Um, what happens though is the water is attracted to the sides of the glass or the plastic and so it normally makes like this curve and so that curve is called a meniscus and you always want to look at the bottom of the curve to see what line it's actually at. So I kind of tried to show you in my close-up view of the picture there and I ask what is the volume of water in the cylinder? So make sure you're looking at the bottom of the curve. Hopefully you got 43 milliliters. Good. Then I just have an example or an explanation of the meniscus, which I just said. So now look at these three graduated cylinders, and I want you to figure out how many um, milliliters, let's say they're milliliters, in each of these. So pause here and check it out. Okay. A, you should have gotten 52. B, you should have gotten 37, and C, you should have gotten, I got 23. So 22.5 was the line, and then it was a little higher, so 23. Okay, this is kind of what you just learned in math with the um, volume of a 3D figure, so a rectangular prism, if you did 10 centimeters times 8 centimeters, times nine centimeters, length times width times height, then you would get the volume of this regular object. Um, if you do that, you end up getting 720 centimeters cubed. Um, you could have also changed that to um, 720 milliliters. Um, so then another cool way um, to figure out how much volume something takes up um, without being able to really measure the volume of it or fill up the object is to use water displacement. So you would figure out, okay, how much water do I have without the object in it? In this example, my two graduated cylinders, I have 200 milliliters without or centimeters um, cubed without the object in it. So then if I put the object in, which in this case, it's a weird shaped rock. So not any straight lines. I wouldn't know how to find the volume of it. Um, so how do you find the volume? Well, if we drop it into the water, notice that the water line is now gone up. So what is the amount of water with the object in it? So we count up there and I got that it was about 270 milliliters or centimeters cubed. So then to figure out how much volume the object took up, you would just subtract or find the difference between the two waters. So 270 take away 200, you would end up getting that this weird shaped rock is 70 centimeters cubed or 70 milliliters. Okay, so the ladder method, again, if you're just looking at um, the different King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, again, we use a C, not a K, um, but I, I copied this part. Um, so what you would do, let's say we have an example of four kilometers is equal to how many meters? Um, so how many jumps are we taking to get from four kilometers to meters? So you would see that there are three jumps. Um, so you'd move your decimal point over three and you would end up getting 4,000 meters. So now it's your turn to practice. Oh, my like little circles messed up when I made this full screen, I'm sorry. Um, but I want you to pause. I want you to try these four practice problems which are totally like all over the place now, format wise, please ignore that. And then compare for five and six, those circles are supposed to be in between the two numbers so you can put the less than, greater than, or equal to signs. So pause here so that you can do those. So hopefully you got that number one was equal to one gram, number two was equal to 1,000 milliliters, Number three was equal to 1,600 millimeters, and number four was equal to 1,400 meters. Um, for number five, I changed both numbers to centimeters so I could easily compare them. 
So 56 centimeters compared to 600 centimeters. So I got 56 centimeters is less than six meters. And then number six, I changed them both to milligrams. So I got seven grams is greater than 698 milligrams. And so I had changed it um, to 7,000 milligrams um, just so I could see. Okay, now your turn to do uh, some more practice, and this is where I'll leave you, is to finish with these uh, last couple of questions. Um, and then tomorrow I have a quizzes for you so that you can practice um, this even more and a little bit more challenging. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first lesson. I know it is all a review, so it might have gotten a little boring there, but you hung strong there, so good job. I'm super proud of you. Don't forget to join our office hours if you have questions, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.